Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I am chilling with my girls over here. I have somebody that is not new to the channel. She hasn't been here in a while. Hello. <laughs> Doobie is in the hizzy. And I have Kenzie over here. Hi. Um, so guys, today we're going to be talking about, you saw from the title already, um, dating in China. Okay. So, we are all currently living in China, over 25, and yeah, you know how it is. It's a struggle out here in these streets. Mjolo. Mjolo the dainty. So, that's how we want to talk about in this video, okay? So, it might be a bit lengthy, so please relax, get your drinks, and just listen to our combo. We hope you guys enjoy the video, and we're just going to try and be as real and as raw and as honest as we possibly can. Right? Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Let's do this. Right. Before that, we're going to pop a bottle of bubbles, darling. Yes. You already know. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, you know how we, we do. We love our food sometimes, guys. You need it. <laughs> sometimes. Oh, we have All crazy days. You the need time. It. All the time. All the time. All right. Let's go. So, like, you know, I'm trying to think of, like, what aspects we can cover, you know, because we're freestyling this, really, like, <laughs> really just weighing it, but I've been wanting to have a topic, I've been wanting to have a video like this on my channel, I actually want to have different kinds of topics on my channel, like being black in China, being a mm. plus size girl in China, mm. being mm. a foreigner in China, like, I want to, like, like those topics, have, like, different chats, mm. so this is the first of many. So, mm. I'm about to pop this content, honey. That's coming at ya. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Tell your friends, tell your friends to subscribe to my friends. Yes. Please, please. That sounded amazing, guys. You love when every time like bubbles pop, you it really just, just want to go. Woo! Gives you that. Thank yes. <laughs> the other time I was making a savanna kara. Good Good one. 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 Good 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 health. To good health. Yes, I'm mm. doing it mm. every day. What else? Hey. Health, peace, mm. happiness. Yes. All that good stuff, guys. All the good stuff. Money. Ooh. <laughs> yes, baby. Mm. 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 It's mm. so delicious. Welcome. It's so delicious. <laughs> I've been waiting to see these ladies. Yeah, okay. Please. Let's get into it. Okay. So I just like straight from my head want to just talk about like how, like I want us to just all briefly say like three words that would describe how your dating experience has been in China. Ooh. Three words mm -hmm. to describe your dating experience in China. Okay. Okay. So I think for me, it's been unpredictable. Mm. Mm. It's been unpredictable. And it's been rocky. <laughs> Is that also like it's unpredictable <laughs> might be a big mm. umbrella. No. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but it's been unpredictable. Unpredictable people never expected it. Yes. yes. Never yeah. expected it. But a little rocky kid never expected it. But no, rocky but also at the same time could mean is it's a different meaning. So it's yeah. okay to have both. It's yeah. good sometimes. It's mm. bad. Re 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 na lo go mara ona le the nice part. Yeah. Okay. This one is not one word, but it's been like an eye opener. Mm. Yes. Yeah. 
Indeed. Just like from okay, so we all of us are from South Africa. Yeah. And I just want to say before you even continue, dating in another country is so different from where you're from, and mm. you really see what a, the game. It's another game. <laughs> like, it's different. Guys, it's different. You it's to different. Hear I know the game. I've played FIFA, and then you realize no, Mm-mm. you you. This is NBA. Mm-mm. It's a whole different set of rules. Uh, the people you meet as well, because the pool, mm. the dating pool itself, just it's so different. It changes the whole game already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. At home, you're like, ah, okay, no, chill. You understand me. Mm. We, you know, we, we go through the same things when you're at home. Yeah. So you find the, a person who actually has the same characteristics as mm. you in some way because of the way we all raised. Yeah. Mm. And then you get here, and then first of all, race, and then cultural background like there's just so much mm-hmm. and then as a black woman yay. so wait but before you get into like yeah. what are your three words though? my three words is yo eye opening indeed like that one does make sense mm-hmm. because you realize you can't always date the same guys and they can't always look the same or have the same um personality mm-hmm. or where they come from mm-hmm. uh the second one is it's difficult Mm. I've met numerous people who are still single and they've been in China for years because finding that person who gets you in China because you don't know if it's serious or everyone mm. is playing a game. Where we going? So mm. it's just it's just it's a bit difficult, especially mm. if you want a whole long term relationship. Mm. And then the third word would be it's it's an can, can I say unknown? Like you don't know what you can do. Unknown territory. Into. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you don't know what you, you just don't into. know. You just don't know. <laughs> I like, know she. All you know is that you are a human being. Yeah. And you you, to, you 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 need to date. I need to, to, to be with, with people. people. Yeah. yeah some of some sort. You know you, know, you meet friends and all of that. Mara mujolo. Afar tajola. Eh. Tajola mara onamu. You know so. Yeah. Ish guys, excuse me. Nah, like I always just throw in sebedi because. Oh, be yourself, honey. Jimmy, what are your three words? Yes, mama. My three words would be challenging. Because, wow, I went through the most before I even met, like, anyone. Like, Mm. you know? And then you meet people and then it's just different. Mm. It's different. Because, like, back at home, like Kenzie said, like, the likelihood of finding someone with a similar background is very like easy and it's most guaranteed that your partner will be like black if you do prefer like yeah black Same. people mm-hmm. you're more mm-hmm. yo what hard yo yo the f- now i think the the longer you stay I think maybe the easier it gets. Yeah. Because when you just get here, you're just like, what the hell? Where are the black people? <laughs> Where are the black people? Where are the black people? So next up, I'm going to like, I, I do have some questions that I have prepared. And I'll just throw them in, right? So I'm sure, okay, some of you guys watching this video are not in China and obviously you're wondering, okay, how is it like dating in China? Where do you guys meet each other? How? And all of that, right? So, personally, for me, I feel like it's, it's very hard to meet a black person if you want to date a black person or whatever. Yeah. Actually, a foreigner. Let me just say a foreigner on the streets. There, there are a lot of foreigners in China, but you don't really see them, right? Mm. Because most of us are working or wherever. There's a lot of, there's just a lot of Chinese people. Like China is just. It's not a joke. There are one point yeah. something billion people. Yeah. Billion. <laughs> it's a homogeneous country yeah. or something like that. That's the word I think. Like homogeneous. there's homogeneous. Yeah, there's too many Chinese people. Mm. One race. Yeah. So. Even the foreigners, as much as they may be a lot, but you mm. don't see them. You don't see them. So the dating where you can meet these people is obviously online. Mm. Obviously online. Oh. Like that's where you're like, oh, Luana. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and you ain't even too far, <laughs> oh, And you're not even too. 
Are you two kilometers away? Boo, what the hell? I've never seen you. <laughs> so, dating, like, you meet them, like, you know, obviously dating sites, Bumadi Tinder, Bumble, blah, 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 and mm -hmm. all of that. So, that's where, like, I feel like most of us meet people. Mm -hmm. Um... Or maybe you'll meet them. Where else could you meet them besides that? Like the party? At a, yeah, night mm, out. At a party. Like at a, yeah, at a foreigner's party. <laughs> mm, like where they say, and it's mostly these African parties. Like, mm. like a South African guy throws like, organizes a party and then invites all. Like we have groups. That's the thing with China. Yeah. We have groups. So if they invite everyone, then we all go to this party. Then you can meet someone. someone there, yeah. Other than that, the likelihood is so low so low and people really like jump at the opportunity to meet people there's this mm -hmm. app on Ch in china it's called wechat yo so there's groups there for everything <gasps> foreigners in shanghai foreigners in suja foreigners in wherever mm -hmm. black people in wherever like south africans zimbabweans south Africans. Ghanians, you know so <laughs> breaks down yeah. and uh, there are obviously some thirsty ass niggas who will just, just goes through everybody's just, profile picture mm, scotch and pick you you know no, I, you I really don't advise story. that no guys I, I just, it's creepy I'm it's sorry. creepy don't do uh, that can i tell you guys that. something mm -hmm. i actually even wanted to tell you this guy guys he invited me from like a wechat group mm. to come and ask me out and he didn't even know me you know how on wechat groups you don't know people yeah mm -hmm. Udo, I think we had to invite her. anyone he thinks might be a girl. Ah, I know. Those and he guys. invites them. And then, because I was like, hi. And he's like, hi. Um, I'm like, how can I help you? I could see me. I can see you. Why are you inviting me? I see no reason. Yeah, Why? that's true. And then he was like, no, I'm looking for someone. I'm like, dude, come uh -uh, Tinder. Come on, come on, Tinder. We check us Tinder. We chat us in Tinder. We chat us Tinder. We chat us in Tinder. not the place, guys. Please. Like, uh, oh, nah. but another thing, ne, I will say, mm. Tinder is very effective in these parts, darling. <laughs> you know. It's actually, Tinder is better in China than it is in South At Africa. Home, Tinder right? is effective in these parts because of the world. You know why because Rinelli Rize. Arimonan Strate. So it works for us where we at, you know? Mm. Yeah, so I think like the, I just wanted to talk about where we, where people meet each other. Other than that, there are some people who met each other back home. You have mm. a boyfriend from mm. home and you tell your boyfriend to come join you mm. and all of that, you know? Mm. And yeah. All right, cool. So that's, you know, where we, we meet. And then next I really want to talk about like your horror stories. You know? <laughs> China dating horror stories. Like, what's something that happened and you were just like, wow. <laughs> I'm trying to find Whoa. one. I'm trying to Whoa. think of one right now. Dad. You should have more Having a, like a boyfriend, have someone follow you around because he doesn't trust you enough. Mm. Yeah, I've had that. He was a nice guy though, but guys, yo, Najwa is quite hey, jealousy is a thing, especially mm. in China. Yeah, you don't even like, have so many options. Go West Africa, jealousy thing, hey, Papa. No matter, like, like, I feel like, I don't know what jealousy terms. I feel like, from China, I okay. really don't have that much competition. Okay, but let me tell you the story. What happened? Okay. So there was this guy who was coming from Botswana and um, we happened to get along a lot. Mm -hmm. Him and I would hang out a lot and we got along. And in some way, like he said, he's my type. Mm -hmm. So he didn't like that whole arrangement. Like he literally came to me one day and said, I don't like you hang out with this guy. You need to stop. Mm -hmm. You know, and knowing me, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was like, you can't tell me what to do. Get the hell out of here with that bull, mm. you know. And I was like, No, I'm gonna hang out with this guy. And then it was one of those I went home, and, why and then he was like, Yeah, who do you think you are? Cross question, How you know, dare like, <laughs> Buona, were you at this place at this time <laughs> with this person? And in my head, I'm like, How the fuck do you know where I was with whom at what time? And he's like, I just know. And like, I think it was later on in the relationship, where I was like, Yeah, I did have someone follow you. Yeah. That I'm not more time. More time. He had someone follow you. 
Hey, hey. Hey, hey. That is so creepy. You guys, I, I, I don't know if maybe now I'm just and dysfunctional like, and toxic or whatever, but I, the effort of having someone follow you, yo, it's a bit hey, creepy, it's, yo. but at the same time, it's a bit like, it's like, it's still like you can. You sure are yeah. invested, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. 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 I'm like, yo, I'm a No, no, hey, no. no. That's where you scared of No, my guys. Come someone on. should not get someone to follow you. The fuck not. This yeah. is a student that time because that's when I was still a student at that time. No. We were still young. No. Both of us were no. like 23, 24. Mm-hmm. So for him, that is a like recipe that, for toxicity. It was insane. No. When now you got people to follow me? That's such a. Rico guy. Oh, no. Are we in a movie? <laughs> where are we at? Yeah, <laughs> 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 nah, dog. I've seen no. That, that was the craziest. Wow. Do you know, no, what, what was your horror story? Yeah. My horror story was. It doesn't have to be horror, horror, but the worst. <laughs> I think, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Having gotten to China, I think the first time when we got here, and I'm like, oh yeah, you know, you're like, ah, oh, new city, get to yeah. meet new people. Yeah. And I'm excited. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to like meet someone new. Mm. And it doesn't happen, guys. <laughs> And it doesn't happen. Mm. Just wait. Yo. And, and that was really just like, is this it? Mm. Like, that's when I really realized where I was. Mm. Like, it's going to not be that easy. Like, in South Africa, yeah. That's not that type. Yeah, but mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh-huh. For the majority, into me. they are not looking for someone like me. Mm-hmm. So you kind of need to also readjust your life to know that, you know what? It might take a while to find someone. Because when I realized, oh, people are like, get tried, let in the girl. What's not the match? Oh, that's crazy. What's not the match? I used to tell him, tell me, I'm like, dude, no one wants me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working here. Because no oh, there were no matches. And it was genuinely because the people around me are not into people like me. There's nothing oh. wrong with me, but there's. The people around me are not into like black women, black yeah. like women that look like me. I yeah. came here for a reason, not to be with you from. So home. you know, mm-hmm. I got it. Then yeah, that was like quite crazy. But I think yeah. that's also another thing. Most people like come here and we're not really trying to be with people that we've been with back home. Like mm-hmm. I know a lot of South African women are not trying to date South African women. A lot of South African men. I mean, South African men. Sorry. And a lot of, um, for example, Nigerian women are not trying to date Nigerian men. Even though, yes, it does happen, but you're trying to, like, explore, you know, see what's up. But, I, not personally, mm. anywhere in the world, I'm not really trying to be with South African men, but that's a whole nother topic. Oh, me too. Okay? Too. So, but for me, okay, my horror story, I think, the worst like a weird dating experience I had was like with this American guy. <laughs> Ooh, child. Tell us more. Jim Like he was, you know, I was like, okay, cool, you know, this guy was just merry. Hey guys, they're shot. 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 That, like, he had, like, he was very, at first it came across as, like, confident, you know, like, super confident, which is nice and sexy and all of that. But he was just super arrogant and he, he kind of made it seem like he was doing me a favor. Uh, yeah. Like that entire interaction was like he was doing me a favor. Like, Gyozama. And mm. I remember, guys, there was this one incident which made me feel like he, oh, sorry, like imitated the way I talk. You know what I'm saying? And he, he had a, an African accent. Or oh, not even the South African accent. No. no that that hey, one, you don't lie. Yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah. like he was trying Which to sound like no Yeah, he wanted to move it off. He was trying to sound like he was trying to make himself like sound like regardless how I sound. And after he spoke, I was like, no, I do not even sound like that. Hmm. But Yanakuri, he's just thinking, you know, 
Yo. <laughs> you from Africa. You from Africa. You from Africa. Africa. Ha. And uh, yo, guys, I I didn't. I used to think maybe it's a myth or whatever, but mm. most American black guys like they really think they are the bomb dot com. The bomb dot com. Mm. From mm. just from when they get to China, oh, they yeah. think they oh, are yeah. like. Oh, and I, I think it, to some extent, Lerna, like we give them that like thing. Oh no, I'm dating this guy. He's from America. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get to marry. Mm. If you are considering coming to China, and I don't know when, when all you this... can find a good one, obviously. But yeah, you can. Of course, we are generalizing. I love we are generalizing how she this because it's the same way we also sometimes feel about South African guys. Yeah, because South African guys always think they're better than everybody else in Africa because South Africa somehow thinks it's like its own. Mm-hmm. I don't know, part of Africa, little like, America, Africa. little mm. America in Africa. <laughs> So it's, it's that kind of annoying thing that mm. they also have. Mm. When you're like, mm. Mm. I don't want to deal with that mess. No. No. Yeah. No. I get what you mean. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> the next thing I would say, okay, we've spoken about our horror stories and like just bear, uh, horrible experiences. I'd say what has been like a pleasant surprise. You know? Pleasant mm. surprise. Yes. Pleasant surprise about dating in China, you know, and just different cultures and all of that. A pleasant surprise for me would be that, like, the guys that I've met outside of South Africa are very sweet. Mm. These guys are so sweet and mm. they make you realize that you're really not asking for too much to mm. for someone to be very nice to you. Mm. Like, for someone to be, like, genuinely into you and very, like, sweet. Mm. They're so sweet, like, yeah. He really does not want you to do much. Mm. Don't break a nail. Mm. Like, you know, yeah. I want you mm. to live a soft life. That's what like the other guys out of South Africa are or have been for me. Mm. Even though obviously they are some like, okay, you're a bit weird. But most of them honestly it's just like, dude. Yeah. Um, not actually every guy that mm. I've met has try has been Overly sweet. Way. The only one that hasn't was just that American guy, which is why he will just mm. stay in that corner. But guys from West Africa, West Africa, yeah, outside of my country, of and other parts and other parts of the world, mm-hmm. really, yeah. are just so kind, so gentle, so like, oh no, you don't have to do that. Oh, mm. and it's for us, it's a little bit of a. Wow, it's, a, it's, a, it's culturally shocking yeah. because we're used to that kind of, <laughs> and it makes it seem like True. South African guys like Mikey Bona because yeah. South African guys they sometimes have this thing like, oh, I am the best thing since sliced bread. If it, uh, you are not. No, you're not. No, you're, they know yes. how to speak Chinese. Oh, trust me, they'll come in so handy. Oh, like, you have no Please idea. call this place for me. It's like, that is so sexy when an African guy can speak Chinese. Because <laughs> you're like, yes, I am getting everything I need and I don't need to break a sweat because this guy got my back. Uh-uh. Chinese is a very difficult language. It is. It is. It's very difficult. No it's idea. so difficult. It's not even funny. It's not. It's People not funny. think you just come here. Six years it's, later, because you've Chinese, been in China, you can't speak it. Chinese <laughs> This, this is English. Like Chinese is. And you know, I actually realized what she said. That Mandarin, I think we mean Mandarin. Italian. No, Mandarin. Mandarin. Oh, Mandarin. 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 I love it. Mandarin. <laughs> It's Mandarin. It's Mandarin, guys. That's yeah. what they mean. I know what they're talking about. Mandarin. It's and hard. And you know, to add to that, that they actually let you be yourself as well. Hmm. I've no like a lot of guys that I've met from other places apart from South Africa. They'll tell you, I like being with a South African girl because she happens to be very independent and mm. never wants mm. things. Mm. And that's why I want to mm. do all these things for them because I know this woman is very capable. Mm. So they're accepting of mm. our. You know, progress of our professionalism mm. of the things that we're doing. Mm. You know, they know we are. They'll tell you you are mm. well educated, and 
I can I can tell and that's mm. why I feel like you deserve the best. Mm. You know? Unlike at home where they're like, I degrees for what? Why do you have so many degrees? They degrees? feel unworthy. Yay. So that's why they you know, which is great. Yes. I need a man to They feel need like they want to have a conversation have with you, that up. intellectual yeah. So you get to be yourself mm. guys without feeling like Joe, oh, someone thinks I'm wearing the pants in the house because it's just like your potential is important. Mm. And that's why they do business because now they're like they see the same person. Mm. Mm. Who would actually enhance their own businesses Because these guys work hard You notice? Mm. They come here Like she said earlier They don't have this whole You're a native English speaking person mm. For them it's I'm in China because I have a business to run I'm in China because I'm trying to make a better life for myself mm. So when they meet someone who's Business orientated Who has a degree Who knows what the hell they're doing mm. They're like You wifey material Let's I'm with this. you mm. Mm. Well, so that's mm, 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 tick tick and tick. Mm. Bra, the world is big and the mm. dating pool is big. Unfortunately, the dating pool. Oh, guys, no. Let's talk about this though. The dating pool we in had to China. Come back to that, the dating pool here. Yeah. It's small. Don't know how Guys, kill it. Ah, 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 chin, 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 chin. Don't know how You know how everybody knows yeah. everybody in the mm. room. Don't know how to Yeah. Don't know how to Yeah. Half it, half it, and then we just have to understand, or oh, oh, salo, jala, that guy, you finish, okay, okay, mm -hmm. I guess because that I might try. be the love of my life. Yeah, why? Like, can't judge. The dating pool is small, and then girls here, mm. they are not fearless. No, no, here no. girls no. actually I'll take make the man. Run girls here face the make the first move because it's, oh it's hard to get someone. So you sometimes need to take things into your own hands and be like, what's mm. again? This is what I, I want. To, I like that guy. I can't wait for him to make a move on me because there's so many of us. And so little of him. And there's so little of guys that we are all looking for. And we're just like... Course, guys, and we, the girl is just like, I'm a lot. We are competing against Chinese women at the end of the day. Like, exactly. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's the thing. The thing is, guys <laughs> actually go for Chinese women. But the girls rarely go for Chinese men. It's, I mean, guys, guys from other countries come to China and they're like, okay, let's try out Asian women. Yes. They even marry them. Yes. And then we're just like, okay, you know, they're not even like, they're not like, they ain't searching for you, mm. boo. They're, they're not for other people and all of that. And yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just difficult. Someone said it's difficult. Dude. It's difficult. It's very difficult. Like, yo, one thing I've noticed is that Even after the pandemic, <laughs> even more. <laughs> pandemic, <laughs> even more. Yeah. Yeah. Even more ghetto. <laughs> it was ghetto. <laughs> then there was a pandemic. <laughs> like, people, Bona. One thing about girls in China, they are, they are not scared of anything. Mm. Like, you will yes. be out with your man mm. and go to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom and you will see. You go. When <laughs> spend that time you spend in you the bathroom go that you don't know what and you're doing. Pee in the bathroom. <laughs> you will see that when you come back <laughs> that your man it's is now conversing name. with another and another girl saw you before you went to the bathroom. Hey, it's not you that I didn't see you, boo. <laughs> it's just that I also need a man. Oh, girl, it's tough. You, because too. not everyone is on Tinder. Yes. yes, not everyone's on Tinder. That's true. Some so that's like the pool is. Too. It gets smaller and smaller. Mm. Some are on Tinder, thank God. Mm. Some are not, mm. and we don't see each other in the streets, in the malls, or whatever. So if I see you, I don't care if you're single or not. I'm gonna make a I'm move. I'm gonna make a move. Then your man must decide if you are worth it. Mm. If I stay and maybe the leave the decision to the man, what a bad choice. Hey. Because <laughs> already anywhere in the world, still like a still like a boss. Hey. But I'm not China. Men have they no build a house and ability. I don't even know why they are the head of the family. Still not give balls. Kama kala. But I'm see a fellow man. Get hands. I don't know why <laughs> men are the head of the families. Because they have no decision making ability. They don't. They have none. They just do not. <laughs> and I like yo guys. Ah, shame. It's tough. Um, guys, I'm gonna have to end the video here. Mm. I, I, there's so much more to talk about. 
um if you guys want a part two please let me know in the comment section and we'll have a part two because i actually feel like there's a lot to yeah, talk about yeah because you break it down and there's a lot yeah more topics yeah to discuss so. and probably most people that are in china will relate to this more but for others it will just be mm. entertainment i guess so let me know if you want us to have another topic to go deeper and deeper into dating in china Even what we feel about chinese guys <laughs> yes Ooh, yes there's it. more you know <laughs> ask questions and i'll let you know have you been with a chinese guy you know have you been with any other rate like <laughs> we got you girl girl ask the questions we'll let you know okay yes. so i'm gonna end the video right here thank you so much for watching if you have watched from the start to the end and you've gotten this far you have to absolutely subscribe like come on Please. do the thing okay thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video thank you for being in my video ladies you are welcome Baba. bye <laughs> bye